Good morning, folks. We've got a couple beautiful solar tornadoes incoming on the northeastern limb of the sun, each bigger than Earth. Together, they form a plasma filament, also known as a solar prominence, that spans more than 100,000 miles long and now turns in to face Earth over the next few days. Speaking of filaments, one erupted near the central disk on the north this morning. We saw another of these yesterday, just below the coronal hole, and in last night's video, we noticed a destabilization to the opening that could hold off the earthquake ramp an extra 24 hours or so. Nevertheless, we already took a five-pointer to cap a swarm in Greece, good uptick signal there. Both the previous filament and this morning's, based on its solar tsunami, could be headed in Earth's direction. The coronal holes in general are Earth-facing. The strongest portion is the equatorial bit still a day or two away from being Earth-facing. Increased seismicity, still very much expected. You know, I don't check Bartol every day because I get frustrated that so much data is missing, but at the same time, I've watched a good bit and never seen the muon count hit 102. We're almost there. Geomagnetic instability ticked back up a bit this morning on some denser waves in the fast coronal hole stream. The density readings jumped around 2300 UTC and peaked just a few hours ago, once more correlating with the low energy proton spikes. Solar flaring has got to be ready to tick back up with the magnificent incoming sunspots. Big boys have gnarly morphology and are twisted together. There's likely more magnetic mixing there than anywhere else on the disk. Minor flare watch begins. Meanwhile, the fire rages back here on Earth. By the way, if you don't know Volcano Discovery, they're probably the best on Earth at what they do. This is the Stromboli Volcano in Italy. Along with Etna, they're two of the most active volcanoes on Earth the past few years. Looks delicious. Meanwhile, the lava flows in Hawaii are inching closer to civilization, which can be seen just left of the flow here. We also have the top wildfire in the U.S., the King Fire, destroying multiple structures and only about 10% contained as of the night report. Hopefully they'll have a better day today. Final news bit, RSOE reporting an oil spill in North Dakota. Typhoon Feng Wong has Taipei in its sights. We're expecting landfall at mainland China after that possibly near Shanghai. I'll also note East India and the neighboring countries under flood warning in the white and light blue areas here. So last night's severe watch zone largely spared the US but the storms were worse north of the border where tornadic activity was reported. We got Hurricane Polo shooting west off of Baja down there then we turn to the Gulf Flow which goes into the western states and up to a convergence leading all the way northeast. The moisture will reach eastern California actually and we also have a low on the far east coast. Yes, those flash flood warnings are correct. Also take heed of local warnings back east along the convergence. I'll also note two dangerous systems drawing convergences over parts of South America. You can see the twisted flows there. We could see lightning, flooding, and perhaps even hail. Down under, we've got a low system in the northeast, a convergence cresting the west, and a disorganized low still atop New Zealand. This has got to be the easiest forecasting location on Earth. Finally, we see the storm cells beginning to shift north in Europe. Tonight we could see bad weather from the south all the way to Norway, Sweden, and Finland. See last night's video for some updates. I'll link it for you below this one. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.30 a.m. Mountain Time as the Mobile Observatory rolls back east across the country. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.